Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to meet with me and let me ask you some questions. Um, start off with how long has the Church of Arimen been on, been around? The Church of Arimen as an entity of itself has been over a year old. We started out as a coven, so technically we've been around almost 18 months. Okay. Now, I've heard a little bit about this. What's the difference between Arimanism and the rest of the Satanic community? Well, the first thing that separates Arimanism from Satanism is quite simple. We see Arimen as God. The majority of Satanists either see it as a symbol or multiple gods, and some traditional see Satan as a form of God, but they still revere him as the fallen angel from God. We've done away with the concept of the fallen angel and work directly with the fact that we believe Arimen is the true God of the universe. Okay, that, that definitely answers that question. Uh, where will this ritual take place? The ritual will take place in Dallas at the White Rock Lake Park over there seaside by the parking lot where we did our fall public ritual. In fact, it was the same spot that we did our fall public ritual as where we're going to be just for shits and grins because we know we were threatened to be beheaded if we came back. And you're not scared of this? No. Okay. Uh the Dallas Police Department will do their job as well as they can. I see you're confident in that. Okay, how, how will the other religions take this, take this ritual? The majority of the right-hand path religions should be very offended by this religion. But the purpose of the church argument is not only to educate the public, but it is to defame and to fight and to take the spiritual war to the right-hand path. Okay, and really, really quick, how, how will the rest of the Satanic community be this day? I believe the rest of the Satanic community will be appalled, will be shocked, will be amazed that not only would we take something as barbaric as this type of ritual, but the fact that we do believe in a God and we do believe in attacking the right hand path outright in public, which is not normally done in the Satanic community. No, that's, uh, that's very, very helpful. Thank you. And uh, how do you, just real quick, um, you said it's supposed to be an apostasy ritual. So what exactly is that? How, what can you tell me about that? Well, let's define apostasy. Apostasy is somebody or someone who turns away from their faith. To become an apostate means to quit your faith. You see, in Islam, this is a sin that is dealt with by beheading them. If you read in their spiritual books, you will find that a gentleman was Jewish, became Islam, went back to Judaism, and then they decided to cut his head off for being an apostate. You see this normally in the spiritual satanic community and the traditional satanic community as a self-dedication because you're leaving behind one religion and taking on another, so therefore you are an apostate to the original religion that you came from. Well, I, I didn't know that. Uh, how do you plan on uh, bringing this to life? It's very simple. I've prepared a human vessel to be completely possessed by the spirit of the zombie king. And in front of God and everybody in the public through Ariman's power, he will self-dedicate to Ariman. And then we shall send him to hell where he belongs. Okay, I think that just about uh, answers everything, wraps things up. So thank you again for letting me talk. Well, please note on the internet, at Dark Funeral 85 is an easy, and there is an article about this ritual. It was written by Firestorm Paroxo. Okay, I, I will make note of that, and I will check that out. Thank you. I must say, it is quite intriguing and fun to be able to do this. How I am preparing, and I am bleeding right now, and I call upon the help of my sisters. We have Hectate, and Nasu, and all the others who are able to control demons. Now, I am quite looking forward to resurrecting 
this dead thing and seeing him squirm because I just would I just want to see him squirm and writhe in pain and all the anguish. See him suffer. It's going to be very fun. I am going to have the help of all of Hell's army to do it. Well, hello, hello, my piously devout friends. How goes the ritualistic sodification of altar boys, the bleeding and beheading of infidels, let it flow on the streets? We've got a kind of a gift for you, if you will, on your holiday. This shell, this vessel, if you will, is be going to giving a treat into your eye holes. And hopefully, it'll shake you down to your very souls. I am a blitz. I am the Ifrit of the smokeless fire. I am everywhere and I am nowhere. Fear me when I manifest. Enjoy, please. Do come. Protest, if you will. We'll enjoy it. There is not much that I have to say. Only, fuck Jesus. For all the gifts, for all the proclaimed miracles that he has performed, I have yet to see any. I have yet to have witnessed a miracle that I could call holy. But, with Ariman at my back, I have already seen improvement. I have built my own confidence. I have increased my own personal powers. And for that, I am grateful. Come and see the show.